Okay, a quick video as promised of the diesel heater. This is the remote. And this is the display. You can mount this somewhere else if need be. Diesel tank for it is here, and the diesel heater is hidden down here under the front seat. Basically, the air comes in here, comes out the back. here and there is also an exhaust for the diesel heater which is here very simple to operate is basically a clock that's not set at this point and as far as turning it on you can simply turn it on here so you basically could be at a campsite by your campfire and just have this in your pocket and turn it on with this Okay, not sure how well this is coming out here, but uh, what we'll do is we'll turn this on just by hitting this on button. Actually, it will say on and the fan will start. You can see it's spinning. Upper left corner here is showing that it's connected remotely with the remote upper right showing battery power is good and at this point as I mentioned the fan is on and it's powering up And as it heats up, the you'll start seeing heat indicators on it. What you're seeing now, the two blinking lights on the bottom left is, I'm not sure if it's showing up on the display, but the uh, little arrow blue is showing air is coming in, and the red is showing air going out. And bottom left just appeared right there. That's showing that the actual diesel fuel pump was actually activated. So what we're gonna do is turn this up As I mentioned, this does take a couple of minutes to actually fully fire up, but it is well worth it. You'll see the first indicator, the dash line, right there. So at this point, you'll start feeling a little heat, and you'll actually hear... the diesel heater 
turning up. it running that will clean up so now at this point you'll see it's on three bars and it is putting out some really good heat at this point my hand is way back here and I can feel the heat. And this is adjustable. And you see it'll go one bar higher to the point where the heat you're gonna get out of this is you really can't even get your hand any closer than this. It's that efficient. So once again with this you can adjust the temperature and connect. There's your temperature setting which we can lower down. Or raise very easily. There you can go, you can see it's on its highest setting. Although that might be a little better to see there. And at this point, this is extremely hot. And once again, my hand's out to here and I can feel Very efficient, very quiet. You can basically just hear it pulling the air in. And you can see here that it's, as it keeps burning, and get a little smoke out of it, but it'll clean up very well. As it runs, installed this this past winter. Didn't get a chance to really test it out too much, but it does work very, very well. And as far as turning it down, you can just Turn the temperature down as so, and if you want to shut it off, just click the off button. So you got to hold it down a couple seconds. And once you do that, it'll cycle itself down. You can hear the fan is now dropping down. Still pushing out quite a bit of heat. But it has a couple minute shutdown cycle to it. So it'll burn properly. And basically the temperature will slowly go down Let's see the red has already gone off and it'll just keep dropping and in about two minutes it'll actually shut off hopefully that explains what the diesel heater is all about that's uh, used, used quite a bit over in Europe and just becoming popular 
in the states here any questions feel free to ask thank you